The lick I just played can be used over any chord and it's based on the minor pentatonic scale and it can even be used over a major chord. In this video I'm going to break the lick down and I'm going to show you how to play it note for note. Now if you think that it's just too fast for you to play up to speed then at the end of the lesson I'm going to show you a more simple lick that's also based on the minor pentatonic scale. I've written down both licks and the bass groove on a PDF. You can get that for free by clicking the link below in the description. That's in standard notation and tab. I came up with this lick yesterday when I was jamming to the Robin Ford version of Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. Now that's a really great version, so check it out if you don't know it. I'm gonna use a similar bass groove to that version and play the lick at the end of the four bar loop. The chords for this section are B minor 7 for a bar, half a bar of E minor 7, half a bar of F sharp minor 7, a bar of B minor 7, and then half a bar of G, and half a bar of A. We're using chord 1, and then in the second bar we've got chord 4 and chord 5, and then we've got chord 1 again, and then we've got um, chord 6 and chord 7. Okay, so the second and fourth bar are kind of fairly similar sounding. So I'm going to loop this chord progression round and round and play the lick at the end of the four bars. Now it's really good practice as a bass player to keep looping chord progressions and playing a groove and really kind of nailing it and making sure that you play it consistently and in time. Now I've made up a backing track where I've just looped this round and round. If you want that then you can head to the shop uh, of my website gbshed.com and click on backing tracks or you can um, click on the link below this video in the description. So it's really great to pick that up and then to run through the groove and the lick that I'm going to show you in this video. The lick starts halfway through the third bar and then plays over the fourth bar. Now it plays over the B minor 7 and then the G and the A but because the global key is B minor this B minor pentatonic will work over the whole piece. Okay um, so let's get the B minor pentatonic scale down first. So we're going to start on the B here on the seventh fret of the E string and we can play this position here slowly and that's the kind of sort of standard way to play the B minor pentatonic scale but we're going to change where we play the third and we're going to play it here okay it's going to make the lick a lot easier so we're going to play it like this now Okay, so run that a few times yourself. And then we're going to extend that further, just putting another B minor pentatonic on top. Up to F sharp, okay? And you can do that backwards. And they're the notes of our lick. Now we do actually play this D here as well, um, and the D is there, okay? So just be aware that the D is there also, but I'll show you that in the lick. So this is the lick now at speed played to the backing track. So the bass line goes like this. And then we've got the lick, okay? So we're just playing B and then the high octave. B, A, B, E, F sharp, okay? And we can kind of articulate that with some shorter notes. Oh, some muted notes. We're just muting the kind of makes it more funky. Okay, and you repeat that, that pattern again, and then we put the lick in. Now 
That's the lick, and I'm going to break that down. So we start on the F sharp, and we kind of go F sharp, G, hammer on G, and back to F sharp, a kind of pull off. That's the hardest bit. So we only pluck the, this one, and then the E. But I find it kind of easy in my first and second finger. You've got to move around a bit more. But ultimately, if you can play it this way, that's the better way to kind of do it. Okay, so that's a slide there. And kind of this is the pentatonic shape, remember? Okay, up to there, up to the E. And we're kind of just coming back down. Okay, you've got to kind of get that pattern where we're coming down. Okay. From the start. And that kind of hammer on uh, and pull off is easier to play fast actually, it's really hard to play it slow. see we're kind of just using these patterns from the pentatonic scale and that's the end of the pentatonic scale and then kind of approach notes back up to the B okay so what I suggest you do now is get the free PDF and work through this slowly and make sure you kind of you know all the notes first really slowly and then try and work it up to speed now it doesn't matter if it's going to take you months to get it up to speed and um, you'll be getting your fingers around all these pentatonic shapes which are really useful and then you can start making up your own licks um, you could use a little section of this lick and make up your own or just make up another pattern you could use an ascending pattern going upwards so what I'm going to do now I'm going to play through again with the backing track so you can hear it now I'm going to do a simplified uh, lick now so if you don't feel that you can get that one at all um, here's another lick it starts on the fourth bar okay we're still using the pentatonic part of the pentatonic starting on the second note so that first bit is D E E F sharp A B okay and we're playing those on the beat one and two and three and okay one and two and three yeah. and then so we've got B E D B Now that's a bit awkward to play actually, so you can either bar it, or use your third finger for both notes, or use your little finger. If you use your little finger it'll be a bit cleaner. So we do that really slowly, three and four and one and two and three and again, three and four and one and two and three and okay but up to speed it should be okay I'll play that through with the track so you can hear that so you've got two options now for these licks um, if you can play them both then you can kind of use this second simplified um, lick as an answering phrase so at the end of the first four bars you can play the first lick and then you can play this lick at the end of um, bar eight so that will work quite nicely if you're just going to use a simplified lick then have a work through it now 
and let me know in the comments how you got on. Could you play the first one or do you just want to play the second lick? Um, and then you can try this over loads of different situations, musical situations. Try it at your next if you're at a jam night or if you're at a gig. Um, try and see if you can put this lick in somewhere else. Everything you need for the lesson is below in the description. Um, there are links there to the free PDF, to the backing track. Um, also links to my website where you can get my video courses, my base books, there's loads of resources over there. You can also get your own very own t-shirt, I've got different designs, this is one of them. Um, you can get your caps there. Um, so head over to gbshed.com as well and just check out all the things that I've got there. I've got some free PDFs as well. Don't forget to like this video, that really helps me out. And also subscribe to my Greg Space Shed YouTube channel by clicking the red button there. And if you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always get me a coffee. The link's at the bottom of the screen, or there's a clickable link in the description. You can use PayPal or Stripe there. It's a $5 coffee. This kind of just helps keep all these um, YouTube PDFs and video lessons free. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next lesson.